Good morning. All right. How's it going? Fancy a bath? Go on. Not a bath. A bath. Yes, we're in. Oh. Yep. This is what happens when your roof leaks. Oh dear. Not what I said. He's literally swimming in there. Just put fish in it. <laughs> Let's get through the intro. Avoid the mould that will kill us all. And we'll see where this goes, shall we? Begging moment before we crack on. We smash the buttons for us. Uh, like and subscribe. Because when we did the business video, didn't we? Yeah. When we were chatting about how terrible it was to run your own business, uh, we did a little chat about subs about subscriptions and they, they did jump up a lot. So I don't know whether it's because we, not remind you, but whether we say about it, it is massively helpful. It is massively helpful. Um, and it allows us to go off and do cool things, I suppose, doesn't it really? Like yeah. be involved with... It's hard to quantify exactly what it does. Yeah. But it, it's a big, big help. It's not. It's not... I don't want to sit here and say it's a it's a money thing because we've said this before. We're it's upside down anyway, isn't it? What yeah. YouTube? Yeah. It's not about that. But if all of a sudden you've got some a bit of a following, it just opens doors to things to go and see people, yeah. to being invited in to do cool things. You're over right that. Very Anything to sir. add? No. You Feels can... a bit beggy. Begging, begging you. Now on with the fun. <laughs> We're back. Yep, discussing all the things you cut out of last week's video. <laughs> right, so the boys are going to push this in. I'm management now, so I don't do pushing. Yeah, let's have a quick look again. Show me around it. Carl nearly died, so he doesn't do pushing either. Never ask Carl to help you push a car. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I like to lean. Right, let's have a look at this then. That is literally a swimming pool in there. It's moss, mossy. Oh my goodness. Mossy. Yep, won't start, don't know why. You got any dash lights? Yeah, I've plugged in. Sweet, dash lights. And uh, you've got no communication to pretty much everything. Yeah, it's ca crashed canvas because the wiring loom is rooting. Right, let's push it in so Carl can spend some time fixing, not this. <laughs> Look, there's no water on the floor. It's all been captured inside the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't stored outside with a roof down. Oh, that answers it. Honest, Using your dad's mentality, we should just put a hose pipe in the side of the car to let the water drain out of the... You didn't realise. I think we might clash. Ah, you're clear. If we were clear, why did you move the door? <laughs> just stand there and watch, Dav. Yep, I have to hold the camera steady. Well, you shit at doing that and all, so... <laughs> right. That's a you problem. Anyway, that's enough about pushing cars. Jonathan Greenwood goes today. That's done. Uh, so he's coming up for that. Was that the... Black R8. So that's had tyres, suspension, service, and a whole list of other things. I've just got to give it a wash. Um, and off it goes. And off it goes. Uh, TTRS, obviously engines ongoing. Uh, Matt's Evo, the head is done. I've just got to go to KMB and pick everything up. Then uh, Tosh's engines in bits. Alan's twin turbo. We have um, we're basically dealing with the insurance company. George's is done. We had one guy email us about coming to see it because um, it's up for sale. So if anyone wants it, give me a shout. Give me a shout. So just let us know in the comments. Yeah. Or email you direct. Or drop, yeah, yeah, email me direct is easier. Uh, the 650S is going back on a ramp in a minute to have the finish off dropping the engine out. All right, so engine's out on that, yeah? Uh, engine's coming out. Yeah, yeah, we just got to finish it off. Actually drop it, because once we drop it, it can't take car off a ramp. Yeah. Uh, Jordan's Mini's for sale. Uh, the Blue R8 had air mass problems and four wheel drive problems and we fixed all those. Kate done a Mitch. What? She didn't. I was probably going to get beasted for that. She didn't. Uh, it got hit in a car park. No. Thursday? Friday. 
Thursday, Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She wasn't in it. Uh, it was parked up, and some. She was quite sweet, actually. A girl called Jade uh, messaged us. She was freaking out. Everything smashed into it, but uh, it's right off. That's a write off. For that. The insurance company written it off. Yeah. Wing bumper headlight. I don't think it's done the bonnet. Um, yeah, bumper logo. Yeah, I mean we added just in parts. It was like three grand in parts. Three grand. Yeah, so insurance company have just written it off. So that goes tomorrow. Really good actually. I haven't had to do anything. It was one phone call dealt with. Money's in my bank sorted. So no arguing about car pro costs anymore. They said on the phone, they said, oh, have you had any estimates done? So I emailed over the estimate from Panelcraft. And she's like, yeah, that's that's a write off because they obviously work to a ratio with a value. Yeah. But whereas in, back in the old day, you used to print off adverts at the auto trader going, oh yeah, 2010 version of this, black edition with the lever and this mileage and this spec is worth eight grand. And they'd go, no, it's worth three grand. And you'd argue. You'd have the battle, yeah. Yeah, now they just look at three valuation guides. They go top book on all three of them and then they average them out. Okay. So that's how they do it. There's no argument, there's no nothing. That is just what it is. So I imagine the difficulty there is when you start getting into stuff where the market value and the guide value are a little bit out of whack. Yeah. So, which is why I would probably say, if you've got something quite specialized or say like a Porsche where the market value is massively overinflated, what it'll buy and sell for versus the guide value, I'd say you need to go declared value. So the, the other thing you've got to bear in mind is if you've done a lot of work to it and it's tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, people don't. Yeah, yeah. So I think declared value is getting bigger now. Yeah. Um, because it's it's weird, right? Because like I've just gone through all that, and I thought they'd give me all right price. I I think for the hassle of selling it, I'm probably where I am with what I'd sell it for. But cars are expensive, man. Oh man, they've gone crazy. Like, I'd like to get a, an Ateca Cupra or an SQ5, or a Tiguan R line, like a later one. <laughs> They're stupid money. Yeah. Stupid money. So, if anyone's got something cool, not a Mitsubishi GTO 3000, I don't <laughs> think she wants one of them. Not a Skyline. Not a Sky, I got one of them. You got one of those. Um, yeah, so I need to find her something now. Okay. Well, let so. us know in the comments what you think. Kate's new whip should be. Yeah, like Ryan from Darkside comes back and he's like, mate, we've just done a Panamera, they're amazing, get one of them. I'm like, mate, they're like 50 bag. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so it, uh, I've always liked the SQ5s. I think they're quite cool. And I, a Tekka Cooper is amazing. I but... drove a tuned uh, SQ5 back in the day. Did you? Uh, it, it was Revo's own car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that absolutely flew. Yeah, yeah, they're wicked, isn't they? Yeah. Three litre. By TDI, isn't it? Oil burners, but. <clears throat> I don't know, beggars can't be choosers. That's it. It's a shame it takes so long to get that fixed because I could put her in that. Now we're talking RS4. Yeah, but at the minute I just haven't got the time to get it fixed. So <laughs> she's going to have to run around in that. Ah, the golf. Yeah, but I have got people interested in it, so I need to act fast because we've had quite a bit of interest in it. So that's good news. It's all right. It's a shame I sold the RS6 because she could, she could roll around in that. Cole could have uh, serviced it for Yeah, me. I know. Yeah, so, uh, honestly, first of all, problems. Um, I was to say, car park's, car park's looking, looking empty, mate. Yep. Getting there. But there's like four gearboxes, three gearboxes and four engines to do. So yeah. when they're not parked out here, then we've obviously got stuff in there to do. Uh, the Skoda's going on the dyno on Thursday. And then that can go back to Jack. Uh, um, See if people can guess what power that's going to make. Eight. <laughs> Just eight? Yeah, eight. I don't know. Um, mix, I'm waiting on pistons, same as the Greek one. We're waiting on engine internals. Yep. Uh, and then once they're in, then we can build them both side by side. As talking of twin turbo R8s, I noticed the black one. The black one, one has, has gone to have windows done because that's being exported in the next week or so. So it's going to have a windows done last little bit and then that can go. Uh, the time attack car is in the dyno, that's going today. Uh, but we've got a Ferrari FF turning up for straight pipes, which we did years back. I don't know whether you remember that one. Was that the one that was stored here? Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that yeah. the world's loudest car. So we put it back to stock for a while and then we're going to put the pipes back on it. Be cool to um, do it before and after with that. Yeah, yeah, so that would be all right. Uh, waiting on a gearbox to come back for George's RS6. Then 
yeah, the water leak one we've just pushed in, the Ferrari, the engine bay's all back together. It needs a level sender and it needs an idle control valve. So we need to have a chat with the owner about that. The in inside is pretty much, we figured it all out now. We just need to tidy the wire, literally just bind the wiring back up and put the interior back together. Yep. Uh, the Noble, oh. nothing further has happened with that. I'm still waiting on the guy to decide whether he wants to sell me a chassis or not, because that will knock on what I decide then. Yep. Um, but I got spent all my time on GTR stuff, didn't I? So, oh, it's not GTR, Skyline. Wow, I'm going to keep doing that. Well, as Cole said, it basically is a GTR. Nobody commented on With that. the wrong engine. Yeah, I know. Uh, Matt is putting mats back together. Work that out. Uh, so we've put a clutch in Matt Armstrong's Lambo. So we're just putting it back together now. And then that can go on the dyno, get that finished and back to him. Cool. So... Have you spoke to Matt recently about the programme? He's got a Spanish channel. Have you seen that? Okay. Si, <laughs> Milamo. El señor? Matt Armstrong ES. Does he still say Lamborghini in Spanish? N well, I said this. I said, how hard was it to find a Leicester bloke who can do Spanish videos? So it's basically Matt Armstrong's channel dubbed like friends in Spanish. <laughs> Honestly. Milamo es M5, por favor. Should we try and ring him? Never answers. Only if he wants something. <laughs> oi, oi! Yo, yo! You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Talk Spanish oh, to yeah. me. <laughs> Hola, senorita! <laughs> <laughs> what made you think of that then? Oh, we've been doing it for a while. Um, yeah, I think we've been doing it since the start of the year, and then um, yeah, we're doing. We've got Portuguese, German. It's funny. It's it's like no brainer, isn't it? Because you you, uh, you it's just a video, and then like if you just translate it, then it's you another video. video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same video, but then people can watch it in different languages. So it's like we can earn like double the revenue, but. Yeah in a different language, so... It took a while yeah. for it to take off, though. Yeah, it took a while, like, for, for a while, we, 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 we were posting them, and it weren't... Yeah, we were posting them, and we weren't, we weren't getting any, like, traction on them. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, it's like, all of a sudden, it's like, right, it's, we spoke to a guy at YouTube, and he was, like, saying, like, oh, you've got to keep posting, and keep posting, and keep posting, until eventually it finds... Because what we were doing to start off, when we was posting them, they were just reaching a, um, the, the, the comments were all in English and saying like, oh, this is well funny, what, what do you do in Spanish? <laughs> like, like, it was obviously getting pushed to the wrong audience. Wrong audience, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think eventually it got pushed to the Spanish audience and then all of a sudden it just took off and then all of the videos just started going mental and then it started all building up and it's only just recently that it's like, start so, kicking off so it's like oh yeah brilliant it's worth it because it costs us money to have them translated and uh we were going to stop it we was like oh it's not working and yeah, uh, yeah. and it stopped working and then we're like yeah and then we're going to move on to like portuguese and german and not mandarin and stuff like that after but yeah it works really well mate your <laughs> accent it's easier to understand in spanish and i don't speak spanish oh yeah <laughs> the um <laughs> Spanish people talking to us like, oh, yeah. yeah mate that is amazing no I just thought I'd give you a shout let you, let you know the clutch is in it we're just literally putting a Lambo back together now so oh sick couple of days Sweet. and it'll be all resorted for you wicked okay so yeah let me know when it's all ready and then uh, if we get time I can all right. pop down and uh, grab it no worries mate and now, now we've spoken on the phone today I can name drop you in my video for this week so hey win win <laughs> Have a good day. Catch you in a bit, ladies, dude. Bye. 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 Well, there we are on that. Mate. I wonder where he was going. I know. That is genius, though. Yeah. And it's already done more views. It's got more subscribers than mine. <laughs> so, our performance. In, in Spanish. FFF, Yeah. Swaddle. I learned it from a book. <laughs> I can, but, but I tell you now, Kate won't like it one bit, man. Uh. <laughs> Kate! We're doing the Welsh channel, babe, all right? 
<laughs> yes. That's going to go down worse than the Mitch joke, that is. <laughs> right. Anywho, Matt's is in for service, and then it's got MOT. Oh, I said, um, <laughs> I got to Carly said, oh, look, Kate's done a Mitch. <laughs> What? What's a mitt? What does she do? <laughs> Nothing. But it was funny. I got to take the piss out of her car being crashed and you at the same time. Oh, it was literally a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> we have the fuel pump back out of the Skyline, not GTR. That's the hanger bracket. So that is what was all in the bottom of the tank. Yeah. So we've pulled the pump back out. We've drained the tank. Uh, we've pulled the level unit out. Clever little lever unit, actually. So it lives inside this. Right. Yep. Which is slides down inside the tank. It's got this little piece, which is rusty. So if we need to clean all the corrosion off. So that's the float. That lives in, in this really big resistor. Right. And it travels up that's pretty cool it's cool isn't it yeah. but my only worry is it's sticky ah yeah so it should gravity it should fall back down as the fuel drops oh. but it doesn't so i don't know whether to replace it because i need to redo all the wiring anyway because it's green or whether there's a way to make that better okay but if you know, let me know. So it's all out. That old chap was 58 quid. 58 quid? Yeah. It was dearer than the fuel filter, and that's turning up on Tuesday. So we're going to wash the tank. I don't think you'll be able to see it, to be fair, Dad. You see all that rust in the bottom? Ew. There's flakes of it, like literally. Yeah, I'll put my hand in. Watch yeah. now. Ready? Look at that. Yeah. Luckily, the tank's plastic. Because if it wasn't a plastic tank, you'd have to write that off. That'd be, you'd, that'd be a new tank, I think. So luckily, the tank's plastic. Uh, so we just keep drying it and drying it and sucking everything out and hoovering it and just trying to get as much as we can out. Then once we've got all that done, we put it all back together. The hoses are rubber, so they're not too bad to change. Um, I will get the injectors out and get them tested. And so, you're pleased with the progress? That's about it. You got it back without any Well, we got it back. It's here. Yeah. Needs a good clean. Yeah, it'd be cool. And then we just get the service stuff done then. Uh, Motel have got the, their new Nismo oil range come in. So they're going to sort us out with a load of fluids to go in it. So we can do diff gearbox, centre diff, rear diff, engine oil, power steering fluid. The whole shebang. The whole sh shebang. Um, wash your fluid, looks a bit grotty. Yeah. Uh, it's also a spider's web behind, yep. issue inside the light. I don't know if you can see that. Steve the spider, mate. Oh, Steve, is it? Mitch's friend. <laughs> Bucket of dusty water. Shake it around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's come out of the R8. That's one side. Not even all of it. Not even all of it. Ew. Ew. Mate, that is brutal. Yeah. Just. Blech quickly to go over this again so what, what's the plan uh the plan is to well dry it out and i think the looms under the carpets are rotten because it's crashing the canvas i don't i mean it could be any of that yeah um but there's only really two control there's a interface module layer and a parking sensor module layer yep. and the wiring's like that wiring submerged look Um, so it's understanding now what's causing the freak out. Yeah. It is wetter than an otter's pocket. 
Yeah, it doesn't even like, it's not happy. doesn't even crank. So I wonder whether it's, what would stop it cranking? <sighs> would stop it cranking? Oh, I've just leaned in the mold. Oh, moldy elbow. Oh. Oh no! What? It's not saying depressed clutch though. Depressed. I'd be quite depressed if I had this. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, there we go. Not cool. No. And it's been wet for a while. So, be realistic, Carl. I mean... Carl's happy about this. He loves people's misery. <laughs> I don't know why, I just love it. Look, Dav, you can even have a bath and then grow your vegetables in your garden. That is minging. Not cool. You can see why the flaps are all mouldy when they live inside, and that's obviously got full of water and just been left. And it's not been left with the roof down? No, no, because they fold inside when the yeah. roof is up. So all the inside of that, wow. So watch now when the roof comes up, all that carpet area. Yeah, sodden look. You see all in there? So that's why they're mouldy. Is this the worst one you've seen? That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, full stop? Oh, worst man, that's, uh, that's the worst flooded R8 I've ever yeah. seen. It looks like it's been parked in a, I don't even know what. A lake. Yeah, yeah, like we've had them bad where they've rotted out the module, but to rot out both sides, to have that as wet as that is, because yeah. it all leaks through here. Yeah. Like, and then there's, it's obviously not been driven for such a long time because it's the heat off the engine bay that dries everything back out. That's why they're vented. Okay. And it's just full of leaves and water. And it, it stinks, doesn't it? And Carl's misery. <laughs> now, if anyone's got a bigger unit for rent, we can put a uh, Carl's misery storeroom in. Uh, yeah. I say yeah a lot now. And, um... Um, you do that, don't you? That's you. Um. You had a whole conversation earlier with a bloke and you were just literally like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And I'm in the van and I'm like that. This is just riveting. <laughs> uh, so we put a new clutch in Matt's Lambo. It's because it's an E-gear uh, and he was just having problems pulling away and it'd slip on shift. Um, but it was quite tired when we turboed it, so it was always the risk. The reason we don't really go crazy and put these Kevlars in, in a manual it'd be different because you can obviously modulate the clutch pedal yourself, but on an e-gear, because the computer does it, there's no way of like reprogramming the friction profile, so it just goes, oh, I'll let the clutch out, and you let the clutch out, and it grabs really hard, and it just goes, bump. Or you've got to set it to slip loads, pulling away, and Kevlar clutches don't like being slipped. So the better thing to do, because he's not drag racing it or anything like that, even though he did blow the diff up drag racing it. <laughs> um, so it's now rear wheel drive, is, which should make it better, uh, is we just put a stock clutch in it. So stock clutch, flywheel, add gearbox out, hydraulic fluids all done, transmission fluids done, service it. That's all all right. Uh, it's got a new exhaust, which if people are eagle-eyed, they would have seen over the last couple of weeks. Um, but then we'll get it back on a dyno and we'll just tidy up the tuning, make sure the engine efficiency is right, make sure pull-away is right, that kind of thing. And you can have it back. So we, you've got a collection of bits on the floor. We have. So Lamborghini supply it with a flywheel. Like a so. It's a big old boy. Yeah, and then it's a twin plate clutchings. Uh, and uh, a release bearing, but have we release bearing gone? Did we lob release bearing? And all the, you can see all the ball bearings hanging out the release bearing. Go on then, what, what's the price on it and how are you plus on the Four grand. Four. Four and a bit, yeah. Yeah, so, got to pay to play mate. And now look, 
Rick has got a Lamborghini stepping box. Yes. Step in time, step in time. And then we've got the, uh, the snails there. A uh, pair of dirty great snails yeah. in l'orange. Don't worry about me if you can't find it. And funk motorsport blankets. Yeah. I'm surprised they make that, that, uh, dark side custom ones. They should make my Armstrong custom ones for him. There we go. That's an idea. Get on it, funk. Um, yeah, so it's going back together now. We've bled the clutch. Uh, Matt's just finishing it off, but we need to hang the turbos before we can put the lubrication system back on and fill it with oil. And then when it is full of oilings, we can do the startings. And then we can bleed all the clutch. Uh, sorry, uh, set a basic set ends and stuff like that. So yeah, it'll be all right. And then we can get it back to him. So we can't use it over winter. But nice to chat to him. Yes. He speaks better in Spanish than he does in English. <laughs> Or is it Leicester, Leicester English? Yeah, Leicesterian. Leicester, Leicesterian. Yep. Cool. Creates a Spanish channel, does better than mine. Living the dream. <laughs> Maybe we should do our channel in Spanish. If you speak Spanish and want to help us with that, we should convert it. El por favor. Bono estente, pussycat. Scorchio! Scorchio. George just finishing off the X5. It went away to have bits repaired and then come back. So he's finishing that off. Uh, my bike's ready to go off to Spain. I had the tires swapped the other day. Someone was watching a video last week and bought like 20 tires off me. So we've got like 10 more to go. I got some R8 ones to go as well. Nice. So clearing some space. Yeah, it's all right, mate. It's all right. Lovely. Should we do it by some uh, branding? We've got, this is dual branding. We've got question got time. Motor up there. I know. I'm a sponsor's dream, mate. Uh, RJN video, a question you may want to use for your Q&A. With regards to OBD2 scanners for Hurricane, would you suggest iCarsoft, OBD11, or VCDS for the amateur DIYer, accurate DTC translation, battery coding without BEM, and service reset would be the most used items. Right, so we're working with Carly at the minute, and we've said we're gonna test a Carly unit. Um, because they want to get involved. 95% of what we do is on VCDS. So you can buy a one VIN unit, a one chassis number unit, um, and it will do everything you want. Uh, we're going to test Carly on an R8, on an R8 Gen 2, and a Huracan will be the same. So once we've done that, we'll tell everyone, because I think they are cheaper. I think a Carly unit is cheaper. Yeah. Um, but we either use, we've got Texa, uh, we've got Genuine Odis that obviously does factory pass through, and then we've got like VCDS. Um, I don't know anything about OBD11 or iCarsoft, so I can't comment on those. That's just what we use. Um, but Carly have seen what we do when they want to get involved, so. Uh, at Shalom Brother, does the LGBT number plate come with the Golf or are you transferring it onto the Noble? No, it goes with the Golf. It was. It came on the golf, and it uh, it came on the golf, and it will go on the golf. I'm not messing around with that. Are so you fine. transferring it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bloody hell! <laughs> See the idiots I have to work with. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keith Chu nine three two. That rhymes. Can you ship merch to America, or is shipping more than say the cost of the hoodie? Huge fan. Watched all videos twice. Yeah, we can ship. I mean, shipping's not cheap, but we can sort something. Just drop us an email. Uh, and new merch dropping soon. Yeah, new hats and new hoodies and new t-shirts are dropping soon. So the hats will be purple and black, which I think we showed on last week's. Yep. And then the hoodies, we haven't shown the design yet, but they, they say FBS in big letters, like the FBI shirts. And then underneath in a little line of text, it says fixing broken shit. But what did we do with the shit? We starred the eye. Uh, there we go. That's what we did. Yep. Uh, up there, Devils, what metal gig were you at? I was at Skindred at Cardiff Uni. So I watched, can't remember what the first band was called. Second band was Black Gold. They were amazing. They were like um, uh, like a heavy version of the Beastie Boys. And then, yeah, Skindred. Uh, J, J Emmett 50, question. Best sub 10K track car that won't break. Not a bloody Honda. Sorry, Accord owners. And Cole. Uh, no idea. The thing is, with prices now, it's difficult to... Yeah, the 10 grand wouldn't get you anything. Um, 
There's a re reason Clio Cup cars do well, but I think for a decent, I mean, all right. What did George have a 197? Was George a 197? Uh, no one's no one's listening I think to it me. Might have been a two, it might have been a two hundred. Right. Okay. Yeah. So Jordan had a Clio. That was pretty cheap. That's quite cool. Oh. And <laughs> which what? What was George? Uh, one eight two. Isn't it? No. Oh, one nine seven. Or a two hundred. George Clio. Yeah. One nine seven. There we go. Uh, so Jordan had a Clio Cup, but it was a road car, not the actual Cup cars. Um, so that was pretty cheap. MX Five's got me in with a shout. GT86, but I still think they're over 10 grand. Uh, it depends what you're after. That's such a hard question you know, to answer. If I was going to do this, I'd think about a Mark 5 Golf GTI. Yeah, probably. You can pick one, an early one up, because what they came out in 2000. Well, you think four? that Mark 6 Golf, um, my one probably go for like seven, half, eight grand. Yeah. So, you know, you get half Andy car there. I wanted to do, I wanted to turn a Scirocco into a track car. Yep. I think the Scirocco was like three and a half grand for a two litre TSI. The only problem is then when you start turning it into a track car to put the good stuff on it, it gets expensive. What I'd say is if you can buy the car and then save some of the money to, to tune it for the yeah. suspension, the brakes, the tires, the stuff that you need without tuning the engine. Tires, brakes and suspension, even on a shit car will make it fast. Yeah. So you can go out and get a really good car and you still get spanked. Like Chris's Golf, when we did his track day, we drove his R500 VGS Golf, and that was crazy power. But I was doing 14s in that, and you think my R8 was only 12s. Yeah. And that was, all right, Chris's car was trick, but his car was trying to kill me as well. Suspension was all over the place. So you can make slow cars fast around the track if you do the right things. And I would say suspension, tires, and brakes. Do you know what? It would be quite an interesting video to take something stock like that and then we'll do, we'll take it around a track and we'll yeah, film it and we'll I know what you mean. It, and then we'll do it with suspension brakes tires and maybe a bunch how much of have you got to spend on x to make it as fast as an r8 around a track yeah we're just full of ideas we are mate <laughs> Tell full, you. full of something uh at 91 david w hi to all at re great part one looking forward to part two got two questions for you one carbon build up on the r8 valves would fit in an oil catch can help reduce the carbon buildup? Uh, yes, because so the engine's a in direct injection, so the fuel's injected directly into the cylinder, not into the port. So you've got that, you haven't got any fuel hitting the back of the valve. So anything that ends up on the back of the valves stays there. You've also got closed loop breather system. So any crankcase gases or anything out of the oil tank, any of that vapor running around in the in the air, in the system, gets sucked back into the intake. So whenever you pull like a V10 inlet manifold off or a V8 inlet manifold off, you stand up on, on their side, you get oil out of the inlet manifold because the breather system pulls that, those gases in. But you need that because it's what balances the oil system out. So if we tried it on the turbos where we'd run the breather system open loop or open to atmosphere with valves and all sorts, and it just, their cars smoke like trains because yeah. it just cocked up what was going on with a crankcase, it cocked up what was going on with the lubrication system. So now, even on the turbos, we still run them closed loop. We just control, we have a special way of controlling when the crankcase pressure gets too high. Uh, so what happens then is you get all those breather gases, which are oily, drawn through the intake, and then that oily moisture or that oily residue sits on the back of the valves. And because you, you haven't got any fuel sitting on the running over the back of the valves the back of the valves get sticky and the intake ports get sticky on top of that and this is why v8s are worse than v10s is for emissions they run a sort of strategy called internal egr which is where they play with cam timing to let combusted gases back up the intake to draw them back in so it kills some of the airspace in the cylinder it's full of dead air essentially which is what egr is for egr is there to reburn the exhaust gases to make sure everything's combusted and it also takes away some of the airspace out of the cylinder so that's how they do it the problem with that is when you throw sooty exhaust gases up the intake and suck it back in all that soot settles on the back of the inlet valves which is why you get carbon buildup. so on later cars especially towards the end of the gen ones it got less and less and less because 
they just keep kept optimizing the engine control strategy. Um, V8s, R8s and RS4s are always the worst. They're terrible, they're so bad for it. And a tuned slightly helps, but it's just inherent in the system. When you went to Gen 2s then, they had port injectors. So the problem not went away fully, but the problem kind of went away. So that's what carbon buildup is. By running a crank can, by running a breather can or catch can, yes, it will pull out the majority of the fluid, um, but I don't think it will make it perfect because of the way the system works. So I still think you, it would just slow down how much buildup you get. I don't think it would completely stop it. Uh, and then question two, Audi A8, six litre W12, starter motor replacement. Have you done one? Is it an engine out job or can it be done by dropping part of the subframe to get access? If I remember right, it's engine out because it's under the inlet engine mount. If I remember right, because I don't think you get in the bolts either, but it's been a long, 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 long time since I've done anything on a W12 because I avoid those more than they do RS6s. So go on, W12, on the face, I, I had a face on W12 yeah. on loan for a week. Yeah. We just pimped around in that and it was the most bizarre car. Yeah, yeah. Because it was a Volkswagen. Yeah. Audi Group have this knack of putting engines in cars that you can't do anything on or to. <laughs> so you go W12 A8, W12 Fate on, then you go V10 RS6, any of the RS4s, any of the RS5s, any of the RS6s, the V10 or V12 Touaregs or Q7s. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's why like, you look now and you go, oh yeah, yeah, we'll drop engine out of a like, RS3 or something and it's out in like two hours. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I hate doing stuff like that. But it's been a long time. I think it's engine out. It's, it's certainly engine out to do it properly. Right, meet, meet and adjourned. Any other business? No, you can't say that first, gotta say. Any other business? AOB. Uh, AOB. I think there probably is. What were we talking about in the office? Uh, I'm Spain next week, right. so we'll try and do an update from sunny Spain. I'm starting a new Matt Armstrong esque channel. <laughs> por favor. <laughs> um, that is genius, actually. I like that. It's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a shame no one watches our videos, otherwise, we could make it work. Um, yeah, Spain next week, so it'll be a bit of a bitty week, I think. Bitty. Nana bitty? You know what I'm dropping. Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nana bitty. Um, oh, Ed's gone now. Yeah. It'll be a bit of a weird week because I'm away. Yeah. Uh, so we'll try and do some bits and pieces and I'll try and cap capture what we're doing. Send me some stuff and I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've try I'm trying to get one of these little Insta360 Go Freeze. Have you seen them? Yeah. Little tiny cameras about that big. Because cool. I want to try and run it inside my helmet to get a point. Um, uh, uh, first person view of me crashing uh, <laughs> and if that's mic'd up as well, well i think we, it is we can get your Should be. Um, commentary on it won't lap. be commentary Just be like, it'll be <laughs> 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 or normally what it is is <laughs> so that'd be interesting cool. um what are we planning later in the week engine vid i think aren't we we need to do some tech we need to do some tech so we'll have a think about that yeah something a little bit calmer than the uh ADHD training session that was last Friday. That was good fun though. It was a laugh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If only we could be unedited, because I think that would be a different level. <laughs> <laughs> All the bits we couldn't show. <laughs> like, I, I don't even realise I'm doing half the stuff I'm doing when I'm just jabbering away. Yeah. So God knows what it's like to live with me. <laughs> she knows she's a lucky girl. <laughs> right, is right. that it? Are we done? I think so. Merch is done, yep. cars are done, nothing's going on with the bikes. Yeah, that's it. Smash buttons, tell me know what I did wrong, and I'll see you later in a week. <laughs>